Hi friends, Tanya here from Golden Dale Reindeer. I just got back from walking our dog who just had TPLO surgery. And while I walk, I always listen to podcasts. So if you have never heard of a woman named Mel Robbins, drop everything and go find her podcast. She is amazing. She is my hero. She has so many awesome things to say. She's such a great person to learn from. Anyway, today I listened to a podcast about conquering your fears. And it really started me thinking about our story here on the farm. And I wanted to share a little bit about our story with you guys. So Daniel and I are emergency room nurses. In fact, he has a shift tonight, so he's in bed sleeping, getting ready for that shift. We are emergency room nurses by trade. We spent the past many years in a little town called Chico, California, working for an amazing hospital. Hello, all, all our Enlo friends down there. We love you. We miss you. Um, we had just built a brand new house in Chico. We lived in it for 18 months. It was our dream house. We poured our heart and soul into it. And COVID hit, and we couldn't do the things we love to do anymore. We couldn't travel. We couldn't eat out. We couldn't... Our life became really small, and it really started us thinking, what do we want to do with our lives? We had visited a reindeer farm a couple years prior, and we had really loved the whole experience. And one night after a particularly difficult night in the emergency room, I said to Daniel, let's open a reindeer farm. And he actually said, okay. <laughs> so we can't keep reindeer in California. We knew we were going to have to move. So it was really going to be a big decision. We worked for an amazing hospital. The people we worked with were like family to us. We had this brand new house we just built and lived in for only a year and a half. So we were going to be giving up a lot. And it was super scary, you guys. It was super scary. We sold our house. We cashed out all the money we had. And we moved to South Central Washington State <clears throat> in hopes that one day we would have a reindeer farm. It was tricky. There was lots of bumps along the way. And I don't think there was one person on this planet except for Daniel and I that thought we could actually make this work. After we had gotten our reindeer, we heard from many, many friends who said, we never thought you were going to be able to do it. We thought you were going to get up there and just fall flat on your face. Reindeer? No way. You don't know how many times. Hi, Elvis. Hi, buddy. You don't know how many times we heard that. It was a struggle. It was super scary. You know, we left everything we knew. We left everything we loved. We gave up pretty much everything for this dream. And really... What could happen? We could totally fail. We could make everybody's thoughts come true that, oh yeah, we knew you couldn't do it. And maybe we'd have to come back with our tail between our legs and get our jobs back at our hospital and explain why we failed. And you know what? That was super, super scary. But you know what else, friends? That didn't happen. We moved up here six months later. We bought our first five reindeer. And long story short, we're creeping up on our second birthday. We had our first three babies born this past spring, which is another story all in itself. Um, has it been easy? No. Has it been full of strife and sometimes heartache? Yes. Do these animals play a special part in people's lives? I sure hope so. A little teary. So I guess my message for you all this morning is that if you have a dream in your heart, don't let the fear of failure stop you from giving it a go. I mean, guys, a reindeer farm? <laughs> that makes me laugh. If we can do it, you can do it. What's your dream? Go get it.